Today I'm going to do an in-depth review of this MagSafe wireless charger from Apple. I drained my iPhone 15 battery down to 3% and let's see how this one works. I already used one for my YouTube studio uh, that, is, that can be used to mount my iPhone 14 Pro Max here. So I can charge my iPhone and record this video at the same time. Okay, let me, I'm going to zoom in. Let's do a quick unboxing. I also have my power meter here so you can see the power consumption using a 20 watts Apple charger. That's the original charger which is going to be recommended uh, to maximize the charging speed and efficiency of this wireless charger. We've got warranty and user manual. It has a USB-C connection. Let's connect this end to the adapter. It consumes 0.8 watts, uh, 0.3 watts, even when there, there's nothing connected. It looks like it is kind of constantly looking for things to recharge. Now, let's do this. Automatically aligns. I hear the sound from the iOS. Now it shows charging. The speed is 2.5 watts and it's going to increase. This is the optimum test case because the phone is completely discharged. Let's see how, what is the maximum charging speed. I think I'm also going to record a time-lapse video and, and uh, see how long it will take. So 7.5 watts from this charger and uh, about 3 watts is wasted during the conversion loss because it's not going to be as efficient as uh, charging using wired mode as you can see although it recommends that a um, 20 watts charger being used it only going to consume about 10.6 watts maximum so I think it is okay to use a lower power output charger um, if you ha still have the USB-C output, as it can only support USB-C, I wonder if you know USB-C to USB-A adapter is also acceptable, but this is what you get. 12.3 uh, watts. Now I'm going to turn off the screen. Looks like the charging speed increased when the screen is off. Well, 15.7 watts. It doesn't matter. Maybe it will take a while to ramp up. Well, makes sense. Now I see the 12 watts charger makes a lot of sense. It's, only, it's going to push, well, over 18.8 watts now. Yeah, I find these numbers extremely interesting. 19.1 watts. Okay, yes. The original charger is the way to go. Now I'm at 5% already. Look at this. 5% awesome yeah definitely get a 20 watts charger now I thought it's gonna be around 10 watts but I was wrong look at this number so try to get a original 20 watts charger or you know any other replacement on the market that is rated at 20 watts should be acceptable as you as long as you have the, tw uh, the USB-C output 18.9 watts, not 20 watts yet, 19.1. Interesting, very cool. I like this. And of course the original um, connection is very, very strong. Not gonna go anywhere unless you push really hard. Now the charging speed is interrupted. It's gonna reconnect. And as you can see, I'm using a case if I wonder what happens if I remove the case, I think I should be able to get about the same charging speed even without the case. The case doesn't really matter that much as long as it's not super thick. If your case is rated for iPhone um, MagSafe, it should be fine. And now without the case, 
9.9 .9 watts and the charging speed still is still going up. I think I'm gonna hit 20, 19 at least. Yeah, it's going to take a while to get the maximum allowed speed. But the, again, it, it's going to stay at around 10 watts for a long time. Then it's going to increase. You will not be able to understand or see what's behind the scenes, happening behind the scenes without a power meter like this. 19 watts, yeah. I'm not sure what it's doing, but you know, sometimes the power outputs fluctuates a lot. Okay, 19.5 is the maximum. Not, not sure. It fluctuates a lot. Now it's at 7%. Now it's been about 5 minutes. Uh, 5 minutes, the, the percentage increased by 4%. Okay, thank you very much for watching. Interesting information, right?